Hey everybody, welcome once again to another Low on Health Daily Rambling. Uh, this is just going to kind of be a quick one. Uh, I do want to start off with, yes, I did get a Bioshock 2 today. Um, basically got it, started playing around 2 o'clock and kind of finished it around 10. Kind of the usual 7 to 8 hour game. Um, and honestly, my initial uh, impressions and thoughts about the game, uh, not that high actually. Um, I don't know what it was about it, but it just, I don't know, just being able to play as a big daddy, one of these guys, just kind of came off slow and uh, limited. I don't know what it was. Uh, the story just seems really, I'm not going to say weak, but the problem is with Bioshock 2, I'm automatically going to compare it with Bioshock, just like I did Mass Effect. And just like that, it's not as good as the first one. It's not a horrible game. It is definitely not a great game. To me, it's like an average game. I really just didn't really enjoy it that much. And maybe that's just because I went into it thinking I wasn't going to enjoy it that much. But there's games where I can tell when I start playing them if I'm going to actually enjoy them or not. And Bioshock 2, after a while, I just felt, meh, I don't really care. Um, I guess what they kind of do is they kind of throw a lot at the character. There's a lot of like kind of crescendo moments from Left 4 Dead 2. And actually, they added a character from Left 4 Dead 2. They threw in the tank because they apparently didn't have a tank-like character that was all big and muscly and threw concrete around. Um, but they did put one of those in there. Um, and I mean, you play as a big daddy. It's ten years after the first game. Um, I guess the main problem I had with it, too, was that uh, as playing as a big daddy, you go down really quick in the game. And I guess that's because... You're a first generation big daddy and you're not as tough as the ones you fought in the first game, but I don't freaking care. Um, playing as this character, I didn't feel empowering whatsoever. Um, and basically a quarter way through the game, I just didn't care anymore. So I bumped the difficulty down to easy, focused on uh, the plasmid power that basically makes a decoy. So all the enemies will go attacking the decoy and I just ran through the freaking game. That's probably another reason why I beat it in eight hours. But I mean, honestly, I don't care. I mean, I want to justify my reasons for not liking it, but when it comes down to it, I just didn't. Um, and that's maybe because the first one was just really good. I mean, the second one, I was expecting twists, and there wasn't really any twists, so it just seemed like subpar compared to the first one, and I'm going to compare it to the first one, because I mean, that's the standard it's set. You don't make a sequel to the game, and you may make it worse. You try to at least make it equal to or better. A uh, clear example, I would say, Call of Duty 4 to Call of Duty, or Warfare 2 to compare to the other Warfare that just recently came out on par. No problems there. Um, but I guess that's just how some series go. It's just sad to see it happen after the second one. And if they even attempt to make a third Bioshock game, it's going to be ridiculous. They should just maybe think about going to System Shock and not keep shoehorning something that just because we all enjoyed it in 2007. Yeah, Bioshock was a lot of people's games was my game of 2007. That doesn't mean make another one and it's going to be just as good and just as reviewed and just as you know entertaining to the people that played it. But once again, that's just my opinion. I bet you there's a lot of people out there who just go love the game, just like Mass Effect 2, and that's just my two cents. Uh, moving on, I did actually finish Heat Guy J already. Um, pretty amazed, I guess, you know, 26 episodes, you know, the, the 22 minutes each, you can pretty much blow through them nowadays. So I uh, kind of wrapped that up, and uh, yeah, I was really happy with the ending on it. Um, good series, everything kind of did what it should in the anime series, and I enjoyed it very much. Um, and still kind of debating on what I'm going to go to next. Uh, probably I might do brain power, and I'm going to give that uh, an episode or two to see how that sticks with me. But uh, Heat Guy J, good series, um, you know, in uh, not the best, but definitely not the worst. Um, and then moving on here, let's check Xbox Live real quick, see what everybody's doing. It does show three, let me just go and get that to refresh real quick. Um, now it just says two. Um, and that's basically, we got Jeff playing Forza and Sarah playing Mass Effect 2. Um, and oddly enough, some people actually did that, you know, text me while I was playing Bioshock 2, asking me how it was, and I just told them, you know, I didn't, didn't really like it that much, and I'm not going to keep dwelling on that, but that's basically... What I spent my whole day playing was Bioshock 2, and I'm not going to say it was wasted. It was definitely a, a, a lesson learned, but I really just hope some of the rest of the games that come out soon are actually really good. Um, and I mean, of course, I didn't bring that up. Let me see what is coming out. Like, uh, let's see what we got here. And I did send Bioshock back today, so Bioshock and White Knight, they should get back soon, and really, I don't know. Alien vs. Predator. That's a game I have no expectations for. I expect it to be as horrible as all the other games I've played this year, so we'll see how that turns out. And the problem is right now I do have super high expectations for Heavy Rain and Yakuza 3. I mean, I have super mega high expectations of those two games. God of War, not really just cause. As long as it's fun, it's fun. And Final Fantasy 13, I just couldn't care about anymore. 
Um, but uh, other than that, I'd like to thank you guys all for listening to my rambling. Sorry if I'm kind of boisterous, but after playing Bioshock 2, I'm just not really in a good mood. But that's just me. At least I got to play a game, and yes, I can actually get to play games and have the time to allocate to play the game, so I should be thankful for that. Whatever. Catch you guys later.